Hello. This video is digitally voiced. Please ignore any spelling or pronunciation errors if any. This video will explain how to use flows in a very basic manner. First of all we are going to use the web application, flow.homey.app, and not the mobile application. But everything we do here will be the same on the mobile application. If you do not know anything about this then a flow might not mean much to you. To explain this simply, a flow is just a set of instructions for the homey to follow. We'll look more into that later on. When you first open the website you'll be met by a greeting and a button, create a flow. Let's quickly explain what you see here. As this is a device in use you'll see my existing flows on the left side. I've put them in folders which are expandable and grouped by rooms. This is a personal preference and you can build this up to fit your needs. On the bottom left side you can see. New flow, new folder and search. This is mostly self-explanatory. Let's start by pressing new flow to create our first flow. On the top we have a few buttons we'll touch upon later. First let's give this flow a name. I'll call it. Test flow 1. Below we can define the set of instructions I spoke of earlier. We have three main groups. When, and, and then. The when part is a trigger. The card you add here will trigger this flow to run. The and part is a condition which must pass before the then part is executed. The then part is the actions to execute. We'll start by adding a contact sensor to the when part. We press add card and this new window pop up. Here is all the triggers you can use. Since I have a contact sensor named door sensor, I'll search that up and I see the possible triggers I can select. I then select the trigger. The contact alarm turned on. As we click, this card will be added under the then section. You can only have one trigger for each flow. To remove it you simply click the card and on the bottom right hand side you see the remove card button. I will now add an action to the then part and I'll select the notification action to notify that the door has been opened. As you can see when adding cards which are configurable you can press them like this and you'll be able to configure or remove them. Here we add a text. Door has been opened. Now we can save this flow and test it. Testing can be done in the flow by pressing the test button on the top here. By doing this you trigger the flow even if the contact sensor is not triggered. It will still run through the AND conditions, then down to the THEN part. Let's click test. You can now see the green checkmark confirms that this action have been run, and here we have it, a notification just popped up on the phone. Let's test this again by triggering the sensor instead of testing manually. I've changed the text in the notification and saved to easily distinct the two notifications, and as I separate the magnet from the sensor, this flow should be triggered. Here it is, a new notification. This will be stored and run every time we separate the magnet from the sensor. Now, we might want to have some conditions for this notification to happen. Let's go ahead and add a card to the AND group. You have a lot of options for different cards built into Homey. And when adding devices to your Homey they also come with some conditions. Let's say we want the notification only to come during working hours. We'll add a date and time card called, the time is between. This card have two configurable fields as indicated by the gray fields with question marks. So let's press the card and add the time, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. If we now press the test button this will fail as the time is currently 7 a.m. This is indicated by the red explanation mark on the card. So now this flow's actions will only be executed during working hours. We can add multiple cards to this AND field and every card must pass the condition before the THEN field is executed. So I can add multiple cards here. I will add a new card and select the today is a card which is default set to Monday and now this flow will only execute if the contact sensor is open during working hours on Mondays. But what if I want this to execute on weekends as well? Well we can click and move the today is a card down a bit and you'll see the OR line pop up. If we drag it below this line and change the day to weekend day, it will execute either between working hours or if the current weekday is either Saturday or Sunday. If you add multiple cards below the OR, then they are grouped and must all be true for the actions to execute. You can have multiple OR groups as you see here. I'll quickly explain this flow. If the contact alarm is turned on and either one of these three condition groups are met. 1. The time is between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. 2. It is a weekend and the time is after 8 a.m. 3. It is the 24th of December 2020. Then send a notification. This way you can build up quite advanced flows. There is another hidden option to show as well. If any of the conditions above is not met, then this flow executes nothing. 
but if you want it to execute something when the AND conditions are not met, then we can add another card to then. I'll add a new notification card saying conditions were not met. We can now press, hold, and drag, then you should see else pop up just like in the AND part. Drag the card down below else and release. Now, if we press the test button you see that the cards under AND all fails, then instead of running the cards under then, it now runs the cards under else. You can add multiple actions on either side of the else group. This can often save you from adding a new flow for the opposite of the AND requirements. To explain quickly the buttons on top which we have not touched yet, you have undo and redo which just does what it says, then you have duplicate which will duplicate the current flow. You have to give it a new name and save, then you have two of the same flow. If you want to remove them just press remove. The share button generates a URL which you can share the current flow to friends or groups where you ask for help. This sums up the new flow part, and I hope you got something from this quick introduction. If there is any questions or requests just ask them down in the comments below.